Hey guys, it's Kyler, the How To Guy123 here, and in today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys how to use any controller on Minecraft Java Edition. Now, this will require no mods, and for most of you, it'll probably require no downloads, as we'll be using software most of you guys already have. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so to begin, you're going to want to make sure that your controller is connected to your computer. So in this case, I have my Xbox One controller connected to my computer through Bluetooth. Now, you can use any controller for this. Any controller will work uh, for this. So, for example, you can also use a 360 controller, a PS4 controller, a PS3 controller, or any generic controller. This will work uh, just fine, but just make sure that it's properly connected to your computer. Uh, so once you have your controller set up with your computer, I'm just gonna just go ahead and put it to the side for now and you're gonna need to open Steam. So I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that everybody has Steam installed or if you don't, I'll have a link for it in the description below. Just go ahead and download it and uh, sign up for an account. And uh, the reason why we need Steam is Steam actually has an option to map your keyboard to your controller, your keyboard keys to your controller. Uh, so once you have Steam opened, you're gonna want to head over to the library tab then come down here to the bottom here where it says add a game then add a non steam game and you're going to want to find minecraft in the list here so it's ordered by uh, alphabetical order so it should be under the m's here and there it is minecraft so go ahead and check it now if you don't see minecraft in the list here you're going to want to come down here to browse then you're going to want to go to the drive that you have uh, minecraft installed in so in my case and for most people it's going to be in the c drive and just go ahead and click on it on the C drive and come down here to program files x86 and just scroll down to where it says minecraft go ahead and open it and you're going to want to select minecraft launcher.exe and then click open but in my case it's in the list so I'll just go ahead and click on cancel make sure it's checked then add selected programs and you should see minecraft in your games list here there it is so once you have that done we're now going to need to enter Steam's big picture mode uh, so to do that come up here to the top uh, right hand corner of your screen and click on the big picture mode icon here So that's going to open steam's big picture mode steam's big picture mode is basically just a steam UI That's uh, tailored to controller use and it also has the options We're gonna need to map our controller keys or our keyboard keys to our controller so now you're going to want to head over to the settings, so click on the gear here to open the settings, then click on controller settings, and you're going to want to select the controller you're using, so in my case I'm using the Xbox One controller, so I'm going to want to have Xbox configuration support checked, now if you're using a PlayStation controller, you're going to want to have PlayStation configuration support checked, if you're using a Switch Pro controller, you're going to want to select this one, and if you're just using any generic controller, just select this one here. Now under detected controllers, you should see your controller in the list here. So here it detects that I am using an Xbox One controller there. So make sure that your controller is uh, does show up in the list here. So once you have all these settings set up, go ahead and click on the back button here. And then click on back again. Then come over here to library. Then come over to the side here where it says browse. Click on games. Now scroll down until it says Minecraft and go ahead and click on it. And come over to the side here and click on manage shortcut and click on configure, uh, controller configuration. So here is where we're gonna map our our keyboard keys to our controller. And I'll just go through my settings here. You can pretty much configure this to however you want. And before we get into configuring our settings, if you want to, you can come down here to browse configs and community, and you can just use uh, controller layouts that the community has come up with. So if you don't wanna spend the time and actually map out the keys yourself, you could just choose uh, one that the community has made and I think the one that I liked was the Minecraft Java controller here this one was pretty good so just click on it to select it but I'll go through my settings here that I created so we'll just click on back so to begin under the left joystick here you're just gonna want to click on it and under style of input you're gonna want to choose directional pad and you're gonna want to set this as W A S and D to move around, move forward, back, uh, left and right. And under layout, I forgot to mention, make sure that's selected as eight way overlap. Under click action, I have that set as middle mouse. So it's kind of in Minecraft, it's a kind of a shortcut. If you aim at a block and hit the middle mouse button, it will uh, automatically select the block there. So I have that set just uh, as kind of an easy hotkey there. And now we can go ahead and click on back. So now under the D pad here, once again, make sure that's set as directional pad and eight way overlap. 
So here I have the top button selected as F5 so you can go into third person mode. I have the left button here selected as F1 to turn off the HUD. I have the right button here selected as T so you can open the chat. And I have the bottom button here selected as F so you can move any item to your uh, left hand. And once you have all these selected, go ahead and click on back. Now under the right joystick, make sure that's selected as joystick mouse. So this is going to be used to look around. Under click action, I have that set as shift so you can crouch. I also have toggle enabled. So you just hit the right stick once and it will uh, shift your character. It will put your uh, character into crouch. And then if you press it again, it will uncrouch. So you can have that selected if you would like. And once you're done, go ahead and hit, uh, hit uh, back. And I also have mouse sensitivity. Make sure to turn that down a little bit uh, because the default sensitivity is kind of high. So I just would recommend turning that down. Uh, actually, one more thing I did forget to mention in the additional settings. You might want to give a dead zone. You might want to turn this up a little bit if your character is kind of just looking around and you're not touching the stick at all. Uh, but anyways, go ahead and hit back and back. Now our button pad here. Make sure style of input is button pad. So under the X here, I have that selected as E to open your inventory. Have A selected as space so you can jump. Uh, I have B selected as Q to drop items. And then Y, I have a another hotkey here. So I enabled the toggle multi button here and I selected shift and right click. So you just hover your mouse over an item and then hit Y and it'll automatically move the entire stack of items into a chest. So that's just an easy hotkey there that you could use. And once you have that set up, hit back and back again. So under the select button here, I have that selected as tab. So if you're in a server, you can see all the players on the server. I have the start button selected as escape to open the menu. So I have the right bumper selected as scroll down so you can move right on your hotbar. And I have the same on the left bumper here. So you can move, I have that selected as the up scroll, so you can move left on your hotbar. And of course I have the triggers, the left trigger selected as left mouse, so you can break items. And then I have the left bumper selected as right mouse, so you can place buttons. Now that's uh, the settings that I use for my controller. And once you're done with all your settings, come down here to export config and then click on save a new personal binding. So that's going to save your binding. So if you change it later, you can actually come back and uh, your settings are saved here. So go ahead and hit save when you're done. And set successful. Your button layout it has successfully uh, been saved. And if you want to choose it later, just go and come down here to browse configs then personal and it's saved under Minecraft there. So once you're done, hit back, done and back. And now, oh, don't hit back. Uh, now we can actually go ahead and start our game. So whenever you want to use your controller in Minecraft, you have to launch it through the big picture mode or else it will not work. So just go ahead and hit play when you're done. And uh, that's gonna open Minecraft. It opened on my second monitor. And right now you should be able to use your right stick here to move your mouse. And you can use the right trigger to hit play to because that's your left click. All right, so now we're in the game and once again, just make sure that your controller works by moving the right stick to move your mouse. So if you're in game and your controller doesn't work, try hitting F11 to go into windowed mode and then uh, F11 again to go out of windowed mode. Uh, sometimes if you're in full screen mode by default, it uh, doesn't actually work. Uh, your controller doesn't work by default. And now we can actually go ahead and go into single player. So once again, use the left trigger to uh, hit the left click button on your mouse. And then go over to the world you want to select and let's go ahead and test out our controller here so there we go so we're in the world here we uh use the left stick to move around we are moving around use the right stick to look around use the uh right trigger to break blocks and the left trigger to place blocks a to jump uh x to open our inventory you drop the item and pretty much everything is working good uh, I have to say it's pretty responsive, it actually feels just like you're playing on the console. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If this helped, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. And I will try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.
So one thing I forgot to mention is that when you're done playing your game and you want to exit out of big picture mode, you can just hit the back button here and hit the back button once again to go to the main menu here, then hit the uh, power button here and then click on exit big picture mode and that's going to bring you back to your desktop.